Good evening now. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. The five perfect genius. You are welcome. Today we'll discuss economics. And the topic of today is business organization. There are some terms you ought to know before the explanation. One is separate legal entity. A business is a separate legal entity. When the business is different from the owners, the business is different, they have right to sue or be sued on their own right. Example of such business is private limited companies and public limited companies together with any establishment owned by government. And that terminology is limited liability. This implies that if the business collapse, the owners is different from the business. The debtors cannot uh, tamper with the properties of the owners. Such business is also limited liability company and public corporation, that is business owned by government. Another one is unlimited liability. The business is unlimited liability. When this business, if anything happens, the debtors have right to tamper with the personal belongings of the owners. Partnership business and the sole proprietor is a good example of unlimited liability company. We have perpetual existence. This implies that the business has greater continuity that means if any member of the business dies, the business can continue without closing. There are two types of business organization, private enterprise and public enterprise. Under private enterprise, we have the sole proprietor, we have the partnership, we have the cooperative society and the limited liability company. The limited liability company, we have private limited company, and public limited company, which is also known as joint stock. Okay, under private enterprise, we have the sole proprietorship. Features of sole proprietorship is this owned by one man. The business does not enjoy limited liability. What that means is that if the business collapses, the personal belongings of the owners are being tampered by the debtors. The business does not enjoy greater continuity. The death of the owner will lead to the end of the business. The business is not a separate legal entity. The business does not have right to sue or be sued on their own right. The owners can combine two or more businesses. You can be doing, example is the shoemaker and their book is selling, uh, selling biscuit and every other thing in his shop. The business enjoy privacy of account. The business enjoy privacy of account. That means that the account is not open for the public inspection. You don't have right to tell a sales proprietor, let me see your sales book. No, because they enjoy privacy of a account. From these features, you can derive the advantages. One advantage of sole proprietor is that it is easy to start and manage. Small capital is required for management of the business. Mm, mm, just small capital. You start the business. Just small amount of money, don't need much. You start the business. The business enjoy privacy of account. And the owner can manage two or more businesses, depending on your capacity, your, your capability. Once you are capable, you can manage two or three businesses. Another private enterprise is partnership. It's a business owned by 2 to 20 persons that combine their resources together in order to make profit. Remember, minimum of 2 and maximum of 20. Features of partnership, we've said before, 2 to 20 persons, they enjoy privacy of account. The business does not enjoy limited liability and the business does not have greater continuity. The death of an active member, active partner can lead to the death of the business. The business is not a separate legal entity. They cannot sue or be, dis or be sued on their own right. The owners can combine two or more business. One major advantage of partnership is that there are better, uh, better knowledge and there is better decision making. 
English word says two good heads are better than one. Next one is that the business enjoys privacy of account and they can combine two or more businesses. Disadvantage of partnership is that there may be misunderstanding, misunderstanding among the partners, which may lead to the closure and the business not being, uh, being efficient. Yes. There may be delay in decision making. So before one can take decision, you have to wait for others to be there. Unlike sole proprietor, where the person can take decision without the consent of anyone. But in partnership, you have to consult others before you take decision. The business does not have greater continuity, as I've said before. If once an active partner dies, the business collapses. Under partnership, again, one another disadvantage of partnership is that the business is not a separate Lego entity. Say it, a separate Lego entity. They cannot sue or be sued on their own right. And if the business collapses, the personal belongings of partner, especially the active partner, are being tampered with. The debtors have right to touch their personal belongings. The third one is limited liability company. Remember, we are still on private enterprise. Under private limited company, we have two types of limited company. We have the private limited company and public limited company. The private limited company is a business owned by two to 50 persons. They enjoy perpetual existence. If the business, one person dies, it will not lead lead to the end of the business. And again, their shares are not meant for public subscription. They enjoy limited liability. One thing about private limited company is that they enjoy limited liability on a, as an advantage. They have perpetual existence. The death of one partner cannot lead to the end of the business. The owners the owners can take better decision because of their number. Disadvantages of private limited company. One disadvantage of private limited company is that there is delay in decision making. Another one is that they cannot raise money through selling of shares. As I said in Fishers, their shares are not meant for public subscription. They don't raise money through selling of shares. They can't, they will not, because it's a closed system. Next one is public limited company. Public limited company is a business organization owned by seven to infinity persons, from seven, minimum of seven, maximum of infinity. The business enjoy, the business enjoy perpetual existence. That is greater continuity. It's a separate legal entity. And their shares are made open for the public to subscribe. On the advantage, they can raise money through selling of shares. They can make money through selling of shares. So they can raise more capital for expansion. Next one is that the business is a separate legal entity. They can sue and they can be sued. That's about public limited company. Remember I said a good example is joint stock. They are also referred as joint stock. Another one is that they are, they are not, eh? they, uh, the business have greater continuity. Is a separate Lego entity and is a limited liability company. If the business collapses, the personal belongings of owners are not tampered by debtors. Disadvantage under disadvantage of a public limited company, one is that there is delay in decision making. Delay. Next one is that it does not enjoy privacy of account. The account either by monthly or Next one, annually or by six monthly, they publish the account for the public inspection. People know their profit and loss, and you know whether to continue with the business or not. That's about limited liability company. See, under private enterprise, we have the cooperative society. Cooperative society is a business organization owned by a group of persons that have mutual interests. Mark this mutual interest. They put their resources together and buy goods and services 
or engage in one business, which when money is realized, they will use it. Lend it out or they share it based on patronage or contribution by members. That's about cooperative society. In uh, uh, business organization, we have the public enterprise. That is business owned by government. Public enterprise is also known as statutory corporation owned by government, owned by government. Don't, please be careful. Don't confuse it with private and public limited company. Public limited company is different from private and uh, public enterprise owned by government, which is known as statutory corporation. Statutory corporation owned by government. Since it is owned by government, they have board of directors managing the business. Yes, board of directors. They enjoy limited liability in case of business collapsing. It is a separate legal entity, different from the owners. Separate legal entity. That is public enterprise. Statutory corporation, public enterprise, owned by government. Know this about public enterprise. One major advantage is that they can raise large capital. They can raise and engage in any form of business. Janjati project, because they are being sponsored by government, owned by government. Next one is that the business is a separate legal entity. They can sue or be sued on their own right. The business does not enjoy limited liability. The business enjoys limited liability. The business enjoys limited liability. Under disadvantage is that we have mismanagement, misappropriation of funds, wastage and duplication of resources. Because it is government business, no man business, people can manage it as they wish. They go to business, go to work as they wish. No close attention, no close monitoring. Because government is different from the management. Thank you. Thank you. From this, you can get their differences. Private limited company, their differences. And public limited company and public corporation or public enterprise. Public limited company is owned by shareholders. While public enterprise or public corporation is owned by government. Thank you. I can take your questions now. You can ask that through audio, WhatsApp, or through writing WhatsApp. Thank you.